from all across the world. The brave and the bonkers take on the four-stage obstacle course designed to test competitors' speed, balance, dexterity, and ultimate skill. One man proved it could be done. Could another? It's time again for Ninja Warrior of Halo! Welcome to Ninja Warrior of Halo with your host Hunt Unit 751. We've just completed stage one. Out of 40 challengers who took it on, only four men managed to reach the finish line successfully. Half the number that achieved it in the last tournament. The veterans Drago is sick and Ump Double Ump will join first timers Duster Buster 2K1 and Da Crazy Falcon in stage two. The stage which brought down almost everyone in the last tournament with its newer, tougher obstacles. In the end, only one man beat it. So, can any of our four beat it today and advance to stage three and beyond? Let's find out as this uphill battle continues. First up on the course is Duster Buster 2K1, making his first appearance in stage two. So how will he fare? 70 seconds starting now to complete all five of the tough obstacles. First is the ledge walk, two thin ledges which you've got to get over carefully, and he has done. Now he's on to the even trickier spider walk. Got to go up and down the glass panels, which vary, going up and down as usual, so you've got to get each jump just right. And then you've got to get the exit right too, and oh, almost went off there, but recovered. Got to get the exit just right so you don't fall into the waters, which he hasn't done. Now he's on to dodgeball. Four balls. Oh, and he's going for speed. I was about to say moving fast, but he's moved fast as well. Very nicely done. Now into the conveyor belt. Sneak underneath the path, the small pathway between all the glass windows. Which now brings him on to the last obstacle, the vehicle ramps. Three ramps which have got to be negotiated via mongoose. First ramp is negotiated. Second ramp. Just about, the gaps get further and further apart. 10 seconds as the buzzer sounds. He's gonna need to hurry up now, he's slipping backwards. Come on Duster, is he gonna make it? It's gonna be another close finish. Oh, it is close, and he's done it. 0.69 seconds to spare. He has made it again. We thought his stage one finish was close. He's finished with another close call, and now he advances to stage three. Well done to Duster Buster 2K1. The question is, can Ump Double Ump match Drag Duster's performance? He's off for 70 seconds. He made it to this stage two in the last tournament, but was undone, not by one of the new obstacles, but actually by the familiar vehicle ramps. How will he fare today? He's negotiated the ledge walk and he's quickly into the spider walk. He was hesitant on it in the last tournament and it cost him precious time. But he's moving very quickly through it today. Can he get the exit just right? Yes, he can. Now for dodgeball. As I say, four balls moving very quickly. Got to be very careful. Get each move just right so you don't get smacked off. Into the conveyor belt. Want to get through this as quickly as you can. So that you have enough time for the vehicle ramps. More so since it was his downfall last time out. Can he get over them? First ramp. Done. Second ramp, he's gone for the speed technique on it, the traditional technique. Now for one last jump. Ten seconds as the klaxon sounds, but he's going to make it. And he's done it with six seconds to spare. Ump Double Ump is back in stage three. Following the success of the first two competitors, Da Crazy Falcon, the newcomer, took on the course. He started well enough, but sadly the brother of Urban Angel got tangled in the spider walk, lost too much time, couldn't recover, and fell there. Which leaves one man left to go. He is Drago is Sick. Drago is Sick has been competing in every Ninja Warrior of Halo tournament on Halo Reach and he's established himself as an all-star because he's managed to reach the third stage three times in the past and once made the final stage. Now he's back to basics in stage two after he suffered a shock stage one fail in the last tournament. 
The question is, can Drago reach stage 3 once again? It's his first time in the new stage 2 after the new obstacles were introduced in the last tournament. He's moving carefully over the ledge walk. A little bit of lag, but he's over it. Spider walk. Will the lag affect him? Remember, it's only 70 seconds, so it's all about speed. Incidentally, Drago's never actually failed stage 2. He's reached it three times and completed it easily each time. But that's th those stage 2s were much easier than this one. So can he do it again today? Last all-star in the competition. Dodgeball. A little bit hesitant over the first past the first ball. So he's boosting, but it's cost him. Drago's undone by stage 2. Oh... He, was, he looked nervous and cautious but as he approached dodgeball, tried to sprint through them, but got slightly nudged by that third ball and went down and out. So that means Ump Double Ump and Duster Buster 2K1 have reached stage 3. They'll have no time limit as they attempt to defeat these tough obstacles. The question is, do either of them have what it takes to reach the final stage? Our first man, Duster Buster 2K1, being interviewed by myself, is asked how he thinks he'll do in stage 3. He says he'll give it his best shot, but will his best be enough? Duster Buster 2K1, first time in stage 3 after earning his first ever stage 1 victory in his 6 appearances. This being his 6th. He joins his friend Exdom de Bomex, who also reached stage 3 for the first time ever two tournaments ago. Question is, can Duster go one further on Dom? Five obstacles, no time limit. First obstacle is the hanging passage. Got to get across the pathways, which vary because there's several pathways that lead you to a dead end. So it's a maze as well. So, as I say, can Duster go one further on his friend Exdom de Bomex and reach the finals? Only a select few have ever reached the final stage, beating this third stage. Dust of Us has gone for slow and steady, but he can't go too slow, otherwise he can't get over the bumps which are placed in several areas of the track, which force you to go back up a little bit to go fast enough to get over them. He's now coming onto the thin ledge, the trickiest ledge of them all, more so because at the point where the two uh, ledges meet in the very corner, uh, there's another bump which requires you to be going fast enough to get over it, but too fast and you'll slip through the shields and be teleported into the waters below. He's going too slow, he's going to need to back up. Come on Duster Buster 2K1, still a long way to go at the moment. Good thing there's no time limit. Still can't get through it. There's Re95 in the background, the Grand Champion watching on. He'll want to impress. Although he'll be he's happy enough at the moment since he's managed to reach the third stage. We still can't get over it. Come on, Duster. Yep, yes he's on. Oh no, he's not on! He's gone! He's undone. It looked like he'd made it, but he just didn't trust where he was and slips off and down. Falls early. Which leaves Ump Double Ump as the last man standing. Perhaps a surprising choice. Maybe not an expected choice to be last man left in the competition. He reached the third stage for the first time two tournaments ago, but fell on the pillar path. Now he's back again. Five obstacles, no time limit. He's been pretty consistent in the last three tournaments, completing stage one easily all on all three occasions, and now made it to stage three in two of those three occasions. Hanging passage, he's stuck on the same bump that Duster was. Doesn't cause him a problem though. Will the next one cause him a problem on the corner? It's slightly tweaked to the version. This obstacle, the hanging passage, is slightly different to the one he took on when he last made it to the third stage. But it's not caused him any problems he's on. And now he's moving across. Well done, Ump Double Ump. He has completed the hanging passage but now he faces the pillar path which was his downfall in his last appearance five tricky antenna jumps you've got to get each one just right or you'll fall coming on to the halfway point oh no but he undershoots the third one and he's undone again by the pillar path 
And that ends Tournament 8, with neither of our finalists completing Stage 3. But join us next time for Tournament 9, the last Ninja Warrior of Halo tournament on Halo Reach. Until then, I've been Hunter Unit 751 Make sure to check out the video for the Tournament 10 release date on my channel, so that you're in with a chance of competing in the first Halo 4 tournament. Until next time, guys. Ta-ta!